we let these sayings go in one ear and out the other, but there is this radical truth that we are so quick to dismiss. The fact that God loves us. It's something you've probably heard a million times and to most, it's more of a pleasantry than an exclamation. Like we believe that God loves us in the same way that we believe God is going to bless everyone that sneezes. But this polite saying shouldn't be taken so lightly because for some reason, a perfect God has chosen to love such filthy and disgusting people as us. And you think of these couples and they're so happy together and they're doing all of these sweet things for each other and you look at that and go, that's it. That's what love is. But our relationship with God is not like that. It's not this attractive romance. Actually, we're terrible to God. We curse him, mock him, abandon him, hate him. And for some reason, he still loves us. Despite our sin, despite the fact that we don't love him back, despite the fact that we are just a bunch of wretched creatures, he still loves us. And no one would choose the role of God in this love story because God's love isn't this glamorous display of emotion, but it's actually this desperation to be in a relationship with his creation. And God displayed his eternal love for us in that he came to earth and suffered the consequences of our mistakes. And he died this horrific death for us, just so we could maybe one day love him back. His death wasn't a mutual exchange of affection. It was a one-sided display of sacrificial love. We were still sinners. We still hated him. We still cursed his name. And he chose death for us. Why? Because he loved us. We didn't earn it, and we definitely didn't deserve it. But a parent doesn't love their child based on what the child has done. They love it because it's their child. And we are God's chosen children who he loves. Not because we deserve it, but because that's just who he is.